Hello everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope that everyone had a good day and still having a good day with their families. I hope there will be a lot of joy and peace and togetherness and fellowship. This is what it's all about. Just loving each other. Not looking at their faults, but just loving each other and giving thanks. Not just today, but every day what you have. Family is very important. So today, um, it's the 10th day. Um, open doors in heaven. And today door that I went through was door number 19. And I had a good time with the Lord before I went in. I had some personal time, sit on his lap, love on him, talk to him. And then it was time for me to go through the door, which was really, really nice. Um, I love this worshiping time with him. That's my worship. When I go and I just love on daddy, just telling him I want to know his heartbeat. I want to know who he is. So when I walked in the door, I opened the door this way inside and there was a a tree, a forest, a trail, you can call it a pathway. And there was a log cabin and it was in the evening time when I went in, knock on the door, the woman answered and I went in. I was hungry reminded me of being on this journey for so many years. I've been on this journey for a long time. Um, just when I was in New York City, didn't even know what I was doing. I had moved like 30 times in New York and people would always ask me, why are you moving? Why are you moving so much? And then one day the Lord said, missionary, don't stay one place. And it was, it's always a trying challenging good challenging you know sometimes it was challenging to change me and see and see where i am see where people are at and and it was nice because those days i had a mouth and i would see what was bothering me because i think that we needed to tell people because when i was in new york city after i left my my husband, um, I was in deep depression and people would just come and say, well, you're not doing this and you're not doing it. But now nobody never really see the deep depression that I was in. Um, I left New Orleans, went to New York for a year and stayed. Wonderful pastor and his wife took me in in their home. They had, the church had a home and I used to stay there, but I was in deep depression. So I went through a lot of challenges in that time, but nobody really came, talked to me or helped me. So I could relate to people in deep depression, but um, it's a rough road. When people only see the outside of you and, oh, you got to change and, oh, you got to do this and, oh, you got, and people, you, you want to change for people, but people don't want, always want you, always see the bad in you and always see, but people don't say, well, let me help you or let me talk with you. Everybody would find things about you, but I thank God I grew out of that. I love them for who they are at that time and hope I could help somebody along the way, which I did, my very dear sister, um, one of my spiritual sister, um, I helped and it was challenging because I was going through and she was going through too, but I was able to help her when I came out of mine. So I thank God for them, but that's what I'm grateful for, that I'm not where I used to be. I'm different. I think differently. My perception has changed. I'm, I'm not who I used to be last week because every day I'm growing. Every day I want to live on the other side of the veil. Um, I don't talk like them. I wouldn't be like them or I wouldn't even be like you. But if you could accept me for who I am and who I am today 
is because I have Christ in me. And I walk with him, I talk with him. So I become him. Because I'm in him and he in me. So become one. So this journey has been rough. So when I got through the door and she said, come and sit at the table. I sit, um, you know, it was just a, a wood table made out of logs. And I sat, sat right, like if I'm here, the, right, the head here, and the head here. And of course, it was just like four chairs. And um, everything was made out of wood. And she, I said, I'm tired being on my journey and I want to rest now. And so I was talking about all the things I went through. And she said, well, let me get you something to eat. So she brought me red, um, baked beans. It was baked beans and bake and some goat meat. But... I said, I can't eat the goat meat because I'm on a fast. And she would, she just looked at me. And she sat and she said, um, so where are you going? I said, I don't know. And so her husband was sitting in a rocking chair, like obliquely opposite me. And um, he was smoking a pipe and shaking his head. And after I finished, she said, come, go and sleep. The bed was soft, the bed was nice, and I fell asleep, and I said, can I have two extra pillows, because I, I like lots of pillows, and she said, yes, I know, I always have extra pillows for my guests, and I went to sleep, but when I went to sleep, I could see, I came out in the spirit, and I saw myself sleeping, and her husband, this man and this woman, his name was Charles, her name was Elizabeth. And they would just talk and let her rest and we will talk to her. And they, that's all they said. And then I got up and I put on my shoes and he was sitting at the table waiting for me. And it was like early morning. And um, he said, and I had to write it down. He said, this world is very cruel now, but you have a shield on you. The Father will give you your heart desire. You are very special. People will always be jealous of you because you walk with the Father. And I know that. But you are humble. You are growing stronger every day. When you leave here, follow the light. And you will, will come to a door, go through it, and you will see. And then she said, come, let me show you something. And I went, it was just like a little door where I was sleeping. And it had a curtain. And she went in there, and she went in a, in a um, chest, like, and she pulled out her wedding dress. And she said, do you like this wedding dress? I say, yes. I say, I'm going to sew my wedding dress. And she said, okay. And she say, and I looked at the wedding dress and I said, hmm, I like the headpiece. I could make that. Not the big bow in the back. But I just looked at it and I said, okay. And then I left. I said goodbye and I left and I followed the light. I saw the light, bright light, followed the light. But the light was outside. Usually when before I enter a room, I would see the light inside. No, the light was outside. And I knew the door was there. So I just put my hands and opened the door inside. And I went in. When I went in, I saw a man. And I said, hmm, are you my husband? But I didn't see a face. And I smile and I keep on I, I, I looked at him for a while, and that's all I asked him, and I said, okay, and I walked out because I don't know. So um, after following that, I came to another place. Um, I went through another door. When I went through this door now, it was a lot of people, a lot of people, and then I saw the people but then I came to a, a 
a mountain, a very high mountain. But when I look, it was like on top of a mountain in the Grand Canyon. Now, I have never been to the Grand Canyon. I saw it on Petiers and I always wanted to go. And so the the sun sunset was going down and the reflection was right on top of all the mountains and as far as my eyes can see. But when I looked down, there was a, a river. And on the other side, there was another mountain and some people were there. And then I saw my son. I have a son. Um, he's 34 years old. Um, so, um, on this side of the mountain, he was saying, come. I say, I can't come. How am I going to come? And he said, when you put your feet, the road will make a path for you. And I say, whoo, that's strong feet, <laughs> you know, and I don't know if I've seen it in any movie before, or I, I don't know. But my son was saying, come, come, mommy, come, come, mommy, come. And that really touched me. And um, I say, am I away from the, the, the path, or am I, am I right there? He said, you're right there. Just put your feet and come. I am seeing the bridge. I said, okay. I say, God, I, I don't know if I could do this. Hey, you know, um, walk by faith and not by sight. And I said, okay. And I was so afraid because I didn't want to fall. And I built up the courage and the strength and the boldness. And I put my right feet first. It was so scary. It was so scary. But when I put my second feet, I was there. And then I put, I was still scared because even though I put my feet, there was still a little bit of, of the mountain on the, you know, I was still stepping on the mountain. I didn't really step out, you know, into the unknown. <laughs> it's really scary. So I step in and um, then I saw this glass. Um, pathway and I walked over when I got to the other side there was rejoicing and I had gotten to the other side the unknown fate the unknown and then we went around a big rock and there was a feast with a lot of food and then my son said come see your son-in-law I was like what what craziness is this son-in-law and it was his daughter to come and see his son-in-law, his son-in-law. And I saw him, and I saw my granddaughter was his, his daughter and his son-in-law. And I say, wow, what kind of story is this? And then I remembered, it came back to me, Moses. Moses said, I wrote about my debt. I wrote about everything, the four books. And you can see around the corner. I say, wow. So this is, this is my journey today. Fate, the unknown. And you can see around the corner. So you got to step out. And then you go around the corner. Well, I am about to step out. I'm packing. I'm ready to go on my journey. A new journey. An awesome journey. Don't know where I'm going. But I'm stepping out and asking God so all my friends out there and my spiritual saints out there, please pray for me, for God to open up my own place. But I'm not going to put him in a box. Wherever he chooses God's will for my life, wherever he puts me in New Orleans, I will go. Um, that's his will. I don't want to say I want to go here or go there and put everything in a box. It's unlimited wherever he sent me, but he knows my heart desire. So thank you. Have an awesome evening. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. And I'll talk to you all again. Have a blessed, blessed evening. Bye now.